Hi, so let's make a context-free grammar for this language, which is the set of all strings of the form a to the i, so i a's, j b's, and k c's, where the number of a's is at most, or equal to, the uh, number of b's plus the number of c's. So there is a, now a relationship between the counts of the variables, so i is related to j and k here. And what we can then do is to note that i can't be bigger than j plus k. Each of the a's here is going to correspond to at most one b and one c because it's at most the sum of the two here. And this equals is actually going to make this really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a start variable right here called s. And so since the a's appear at the beginning, that means that we got to match them up with the C's and then potentially make more C's as we need to because we could have more because this says less than or equal to. And then once we're done, we got to match up the A's and B's together later and then potentially make more B's there too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have ASC. So at this point, we're matching A's and C's up. So at this point, they're an equal number. Then what do we do? We're going to say, well, you can make more C's if you want to. I'm not going to require it, but I'm going to say, you can make more C's. And then once we're done the C part, we got to start making B's potentially, although we don't have to. So then I'm going to have another variable called X, because if I had some rules involving B upstairs with the S, then what will happen is we can have B's and C's being interchanged, whereas here we have to have them before the C's and we don't want that. When we come down here, I'm gonna do a very similar idea. So here, I'm gonna have one A be generated for every B, or at most one A for every B. I can make more Bs if I want, and I could make the empty string if I want to. So let's consider the pathological case of the empty string. So is the empty string in here? Well, if the empty string's in here, then all three variables are zero, and zero satisfies this equation for all three, and I can go through fairly easily to make the empty string. So if we look at any random string, so I'm just gonna pick one out of a hat. So let's say I have two A's and then one B, one C. So it's right on the border of being in the language. Well, is this in the language? Well, if we do S, then A is C, if we make this rule, so that means I'm going to generate that. So the C's are done at this point, and then now we make go into x, so x can x make a b, and it certainly can by applying this rule and then making x go to empty string. So this is a grammar for the language a to the i, b to the j, c to the k, where i is at most j plus k.